Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So, last episode, we got King dressed up as a dinosaur. This, doesn't he look amazing? We got this airship, and we traveled around like lunatics, and it was amazing. We have started developing a museum. I mean, I love it. I love this mod so much. I wish I'd play with it before. It, it's so good. We've got a load of dinosaurs to display. We finally got our ancient golden chalice displayed. And it's, it's going to come along. We've nearly completed the monument as well. And then we'll have to wait uh, 15 days until we can do what we want with it. But we will change the pathing around. We'll make like this, like the front entrance. And this is going to be our display room where we can put uh, cases and show off some of the weapons and things that we've uh, found along the way. Um, also, hopefully, we can put relics in there. I don't know whether we can put relics in the museum. If not, we'll just have an offshoot room for relics. Uh, our relics, anyway. And all the relics that we've bought. So this episode, we are going to go and rescue Wuggers. Uh, we'll also hopefully go and do this wraith. And in terms of quests, we are one away from discovering Ulu's Helm. So we just need to find that this episode. And we are golden. Um... Baby, I was going to say animal linking ritual. Um, We've got a baby. <gasps> baby Glover. It's Brennan is Elf's child. The one that went missing. <gasps> oh, you're glowing. How weird. Uh, Health. Oh, right. Um, knee. Uh, okay. Oh, my God. You're a hero. We haven't had one of them since the ogre at the right at the beginning. The one we gave away to the Empire for marriage, weirdly. You're a, a blessed. Oh. Hey, look at you. Right. So, um, it looks like they've kept lots of the stuff that gluttons had. So they're carnivore, tough skin, large frame, super wound healing. Cannibal's been replaced. The glutton head and body's been replaced. We've still got bloodlust, acidic resistance. Instead, we've now got minor UV sensitivity, aura light, that's new. Dragon blood dependency. Okay, okay, only takes a place after 13. Right, so we've got a little bit of time to build up a stock of that, but that's been quite rare up till now. This is the interesting magical sight. Keras' genes are almost completely blind until they gain magical powers. They can direct their inner psychic sight and gain even better insights the more power they acquire. If you have vanilla psychos expanded, this will probably be very wacky. But, yep, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay. Right, so this baby is the one that disappeared, that Izel went to give birth, and it just upped and disappeared. You have a lot of potential. Um, Of course, I'm going to adopt you. Baby adopted. Name baby. Asher Glover, I think, is a nice, good name for you. Welcome, Brent. Go put your baby somewhere. We'll get Azelle to come around and see her baby. Here we go. Right, drop the baby. We're going to... It's too large. I suppose you are a big baby. Uh, we're going to need like a normal bed for the time being. Rent, uninstall that. I think we're going to need to make another bed. There we go. Right, you can go in that one. Can you put somewhere safe? He's in the bed. Good. Okay, this will work for the time being. Awkward reunion. <laughs> I hate seeing this guy again. What's... I didn't even realize this. You've got a mother and father. Your mother is in Mulspelheim and your father works for the tyranny of hell. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You've got such a weird relationship. Okay, we need to make baby food then uh, fast. Yeah, your mood is bad. You're ravenously hungry. We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. But you're carnivore. Does that mean that we can't make baby food out of anything else? Yeah, no baby edible food. Are you just going to be sick like your whole childhood because we can't feed you meat? I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, a haze arrived. Good. Well, we needed it for kibble, so that, that's, that's good. Brent, I think it's time. I think you need to go on a little expedition. The baby will be fine. Don't worry. It's not like it's going to go anywhere. You're just going to abandon your baby to go get it some food. You're just going to go down the shops. Sure. In your airship. There was milk here. There is still 300 milk. That will do. Go to there. I don't know if I actually included that on camera. Basically, I accidentally sent it to the wrong settlement. Oh, you're going to be like amazing child. We just need to get you some food. Don't worry. Your dad will be back in a bit. He's just gone down the store to get some milk. Um, He will be back, I promise. 
Okay, so that's annoying. So it doesn't look like we can actually pick up stuff from the settlements when we're in a vehicle. That's frustrating. Red's title's changed. Oh, the monument's complete. Hey, brilliant. So we just need to wait 15 days, and then we can do whatever the hell we want with it. Good. Uh, can we put some torches in there for now? Okay, here we go. Uh, rice. Raw meat. Okay. Oh, dragon blood. Right, we need to start hoarding that ASAP. Grab all the rice. Do we have baby food? We've got 40 baby food. Can someone feed this baby? No edible baby food. What? Unless we just need meat. No, because it can't be. It says feeding, so I think it's going to have to be insect jelly or milk. Skylar, go on the dragon. Tonlico, fly. Uh, here we go. So take all the milk. Yes. Major teleport back to there. Okay, you're back. Good. Welcome. Uh, so drop the milk. Pour the milk. Hopefully you can now feed the baby. Feed the baby. Okay, it can have milk. We can't make normal baby food. <laughs> cancel the baby we're completely reliant on milk right how long does this last 14 days okay if we're careful with this we should have enough milk between each milk delivery i hope we need more cows we need more people in this settlement to get the cows brian too go over there okay they're gonna have 11 geese that's fine you've built a disallowed building inside your monuments okay un uninstall it then please Nothing's allowed in here for 15 days. Fine. I thought that might be the case. Okay, Len's got a magical attunement level. Good. Ooh, eye blast. Boom. And then we just need to upgrade your stats and you'll be good. Okay, who do we want to have a level then? I guess we'll get Len. Because at least Len we can then pump into magical stats. Because her load is not great. We need that a bit higher. Okay, Brent's a Praetor now. That's nuts. Uh, Len. Congratulations. Tantrum Valise. Whatever. Link of ritual complete. Len, you then need to be upgraded. Like 181 is pretty good. And Brent, do you want to check requests? A downed refugee hunt a fledder. Let's do a fledder. We haven't done that before. And now the monsters quest are working. I think that's pretty good to try them all out now. We get a staff of mana, staff of paralysis, tornado spell scroll. Fledders are lesser vampires, weaken the rest of their ilk. In almost every aspect. These vampires fight with teeth and claws, flailing them blindly and not stopping even when their victim is already dead. Ugh. Uh, a bite can lead to full transformation, should be treated as soon as possible. That sounds terrifying. Okay. Missy starts a social fight with Brent. On oh, no, a Mister. Who's Mister? Who the hell are you? He was carrying a baby. Oh, you're instantly being healed because of your genes. Oh, well, you. You, you took care of him. Yeah. Pick up your baby, good. Um, well, I suppose we got his stuff. We'll pretend that that didn't exist. Uh, we have some linen stuff. We got a load of bread. To quickly take his stuff before he notices. Uh, we need to wait for Brent to be healed now. That's frustrating. Um, preach health on him. We don't really have much else to do, so preach health. Uh, Skylar, you need to get your meditation up a bit more. Toolman, we need to swap out your gun for something a bit more conventional. Masterwork bow, sure. Equip that and you can then just haul that battle so what we've just got two coastal trolls join us okay two coastal trolls is quite nice yeah they can't rescue a haul which is a shame but if we can get them on attack they would be amazing at either defending the colony or anything else 480 market value that's not too horrendous how much are the dragon worth yeah nearly 5,000. <laughs> yeah they're the thing that's causing a huge amount of colony wealth Okay, the Magical Academy really enjoyed our visit. They'll be visiting again in a few days, despite the fact that Brent knocked out one of them. That's fine. And this building has been built. Hey, brilliant. So let's get those deconstructed. And we can make this into like a little workshop. I mean, I was hoping to get a brewery, but to be honest, we could probably build a brewery down here instead. We'll figure something out, but we kind of need to make like a workshop for tailoring and smithing. So that might be a good place for it. Maybe we should just do that first. Let's get this down. We can move the workbench into here. That would work. Cleaning bench. Clean loot and get them ready for display. That would be nice. Well, here we go. So it looks like we can now clean the silver bowls. Clean ancient golden chalice. Just clean everything forever. Yeah, because then we can display these after we've cleaned them. <gasps> oh, it's another dragon slaying quest. From the Toll Treaty, we get an Amber Spear Master called Blood. 
and they'll share information about okay good this is this is cool yeah where is it we've only got two days to do it how long do you have 8.9 days okay we're gonna have to prioritize this then this is the last quest we need for ulu lats has gone mental break because of feeling guilty 5.6 days oh, come on you have to you have to get her out of this come on i believe no we've only got like two days a manhunter pack holy okay oh colony wealth is way too much okay tell you what load cargo up we're gonna start loading everything up that we just don't need because we, we can't afford to keep all of that like that that's crazy right we've got 1.2 days left on the dragon uh brent failed to come lap down oh, for god's sake oh we've finished arcane research though very nice uh alchemy intermediate agriculture no silk no we don't need any of that uh fruit sowing rustic storage it would be nice to get some more storage options yeah that sounds good cool get that what i'm worried about is is azel's genes rare mutations or are they on her bloodline if they're bloodline which i'm guessing they are that's not going to replace anything is it i think the only way we could fix her doing that is through ascension hang on let's have a look let's remove porn azel azel you need to come and see your child anyway so azel come see your child normal goose from oh god <laughs> load like all of that up tall man has a new magical ability okay word of love fair enough right izel is here congratulations oh slaughter failed again oh yeah it's all bloodline i think maybe if we did inject her with the sanguifage xenotype i think it would just add to this it wouldn't remove stuff and reset it which sucks um so maybe ascension is the only way we're gonna have to do it um we've loaded up most stuff onto this is there any more we could add we've removed pretty much everything that's worth a lot of money apart from the dragon scales but i want to make something out of them eventually yeah i think that's all we can really do right now lats is still tormented by guilt another 4.3 days how long do we have until the dragon quest over nine hours i can give it three more hours if she's not up by then we need to go uh the healing potion I'm trying to think if there's anything that brent can't heal not really i think you can heal pretty much everything so we could just save the mana and get tall man to walk down that healing potion wherever it is yeah tall man wolf that down then at least you can then have two lungs and it saves brent having to fix you up we can use that for or the trip that we're going to do All right tall man's lung was restored hey no okay nine humans they're giants though oh god are there any of them magically attuned you don't have any eyes. Everyone draft up. There's a siege. You're trying to get them through the window. Yeah, come around to here, please. Oh, I would like those basic components, though, if you don't mind. Um, Len. Len, my child, you might be quite good for this. If I can get Len just to poke her nose out and do, like, an explosion. Yeah, I think that might be good. Uh, right, poke your nose out. Quickly. I blast them. Acha! Explosion them. Acha! And wing power jump away. There we go. Uh, run. Missy, I need you down here like now, please. Chaotic teleport, major teleport. I could just get Len away. Get Len away now. She went up being there. That's not great. We need Missy. Psychic shock on you. Psychic shock on you. Len, you're going to be all right. Can you do a jump to there? No. Oh, God. How are we going to get you out of there? I don't know. How many are left? Well, seven are left. Missy's arcane load is already too much dust. Arcane load transfer onto soda. Go. Soda's gone into mana shock. Yeah, I will not, I'm not surprised. Okay. Keep going, keep going. We just need to take them all out. They're fleeing, they're fleeing, good. Okay, get back, get back. Let's go. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Len, you are okay. Okay, that was awful, but we survived. Okay, they're all pretty useless. Strip them of what they've got. 
really, I think the only thing I want is that. Skylar, come out here. Some water here, please. And part of that fire. Skylar, if you could summon water again, just there would be nice. Okay, now you can go relax. Hopefully nothing happens to you. Just get rid of your arcane load. You'll be fine. Okay, uh, Len, you need to go lie down, like, now. They're with uh, Niflheim. Niflheim don't like us, do they? Minus 100. Tell you what. You tend without medicine. Uh, Brent, tend without medicine. King, tend without medicine. And Azel, can you tend without medicine? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and that'll be fine. How long till this dragon quest finishes? Five hours. Lats, you pain in the ass. Lats, you beautiful, beautiful person. I'm so sorry. The thing is, we've already lost loads of our mana from that. We're just going to have to load pawns and just hope for the best. I don't think we can do much more than that. You all on? Len is bleeding out, but she'll have recovered. So does in mana shock. I know so does in mana shock. Calm down. Let's go take on this dragon. There we go. Fly, my pretty fly. Okay. We took them out. They should just get up and walk off the map, hopefully. We've also got some iron ingots, which is amazing. Tarred boulders? Oh, God. Okay, so now we should be able to finish off building this, which is nice. Mr. Became a guest. Of course you did. The person who Brent beat the hell out of. <laughs> well, uh, have fun staying at the inn. Right, the Hermes has arrived. This is the thing I'm most scared of fighting. Because this... Wyverns are often safe for dragons. Although they are much smaller than their more famous kin, they do not breathe fire. They are likewise extremely dangerous monsters. Before charging into combat, Wyverns tend to spit acid at their enemies. That acid attack is deadly. One hit to a colonist that's already injured is awful. Len is still bleeding. Did you not fix Len up at all on the journey? Gift from the Roller Nation. Medicine. So he's in mana shock. I know. Calm down. Len. Seven hours. Oh, God. Right, Len, you're going to have to tend to yourself, I guess, for a minute. The rest of you push up to here. Okay, there's herbal medicine there. Good. Go, go do that. Okay, you're doing acid spit. Missy, I need you here and then do a stun. Brent, you need to be behind cover, please. I then need you to do an ice spike. Missy, do blinding pulse. Arcane explosion would remove all of your mana, but I kind of need that for doing stuns. Okay, how much damage have we done? Not enough. I think, honestly, the best call to do is do Word of Protection on Lats. Get Lats to go into combat. That way that we avoid the acid spits, which is the worst thing. And hopefully we'll be fine at that point. Lats, I need you to do a short flight into it, please. Oh, God. Get back, get back, get back. Oh, my God. Right, Len, line up. Everyone line up at that point. Okay, that should be fine. If we can get into close range, it shouldn't do the spit attack, which is arguably the most deadly aspect of it. It can still obviously hurt us, but with that protection for the day, we should be a little bit more protected. Come on. Um, do we have anything else we can do? Skylar, Skylar, Skylar. Skylar could do that. Yeah, Skylar's exceeded arcane load. Uh, only by a bit. You're fine. You're fine. I'm more worried about Len, if I'm honest. Are you going to be able to tend yourself quick enough? Probably not. Okay, Lats has only received one bite so far. Come on. Seven hours. We did it. We did it. Uh, Lats, I need you to run very quickly over here, please. Run your ass off. Missy, it's your job. Finish it off. We'll get a butcher spot down. Butcher that, please. Uh, and I'll all. Thank you. Once we've got an art bench, I'm happy to make this up. But I think for the time being, butcher it up. And we have discovered location of the relic of Ulu's helm. Where is it? It was right there the whole time. <laughs> right under our noses. Oh, damn. I knew it would be there. Good job, everyone. Excellent work. Len, where are you? Yep. Yeah, uh, are you actually going to... No, you didn't quite make it. Furniture, sleeping spot. Right, Lats, rescue. You're already there. Good. Uh, six hours. She should be fine. They're only minor cuts. It's just because she's had them for hours and no one's tended to her. You're not going to die, Len. You're not going to die. Okay, what do we get from this? 
a wyvern hide, some meat. That I'll do. Load cargo, please. Um, we could do the granite chunks as well, arguably. Might not be a bad call. 20? Sure. But Len is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Right, everyone on? Good. Let us then go rescue this person. There we go. And fly. I don't care that much about the monster hunt. I think if we went to them now, we would probably end up losing. So I think getting that is essential. A bit worried about the turrets. Don't know what that's about. But hopefully it's just a pig. And then that'll be easy enough. And then we can go do Ulu's Relic, which would be lovely. There we go. It's just a pig. There wasn't anything at all suspicious. Uh, everything is A-OK. -okay. I didn't destroy anything in dev mode. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to tweak something off camera, I think, before next episode, because it seems like they are still spawning with uh, some heck, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Right, come back, come back, come back. Oh, we're just chasing them round and round. Come on. Are you actually any good? Were you worth it, wuggers? Mm, I don't know. Get them. Really? Okay, get back. There. Claim that. Missy, go rescue them. Free prisoner. So I think you were going to be intellectual. Yeah. Okay. Load cargo up, please. Let's uh, let's get everyone on and then we'll go. Cool. That's everyone. Let's launch and let's go get Ulu's relic. Okay. We're going to land here. There's a dragon there. Go land there. That concerns me. It's Manhunter as well. Just, are there any others? Just one elder black dragon who's very angry. Wuggers, get back in. The rest of you, haul ass over to here. Okay, there's just one iron ore over there. Uh, no, 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 you need to... I guess you need to launch. Just, uh... You go on a little trade mission. Just take off before anything else, because I don't want that getting damaged. Oh, God. You killed a hare for no reason. Missy's probably got a few stuns left. Uh, probably eight stuns. Jesus Christ. Uh, Len is fine. Skylar, how are you doing? Skylar's fine. Okay, good. Um, we should be able to cope with one. Just move down. Keep moving down. Keep moving down. Who are you going for, Missy? Yeah, I thought so. Stunned. On the ropes. I blast now. Stun it again. Uh, tall man can do word of love. That's about it. Uh, I spike. I spike it, please. I spike it again. Stun it again. Where's your weapon? Oh, it's in the thing, isn't it? No! <laughs> okay, Missy's... Uh, Missy's overloaded. Uh, this thing, 19 hours. Missy's going to grin and bear it, I'm afraid. Uh, you've got arcane protection for 10 hours. Okay, you should be okay. Right, another one of them. Right, one more stun. Good. Okay, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, 15 hours. Who are you going for? Lats. How much is that going to cost you? 140 load, 60 load. Chaotic teleport. Where's it gone? Over there. It's probably the best waste it could have gone. Move up, quick. Move up. Get back, get back. There we go. Just shoot it, shoot it. Right. Who's it going for now, Missy? 11 hours. Get in. Go for it. One more stun. Do a quick eye blast there. Right, headshot. Nine hours. It's in severe pain. Okay, still only bruises. Still only bruises. Okay, arcane protection is working. Oh, apart from if... Rent. How many? Six hours. We did it. Finish it off. Good. Okay, go relax. Okay. 
basically take a break. You're probably going to have issues. Same with Skylar. Uh, you three, we need to hope there's no other dangers in here or we might be a bit screwed. Um, yeah, how close are you? To, oh, we sent you too far away. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you guys just calm down a bit. Uh, we're going to need to get someone to butcher that dragon. Please. Oh, you just walked straight in, did you? Walk straight in without a care in the world. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. She just went to go meditate. We did it. Ulu's helm. Right, I think Brent should be the one to do this. He's done it. We've got the helm. The first of Ulu's relics has been got. Okay, let's just destroy that. Skylet, can you butcher that thing? Right, so... Trade. Let's get rid of... Where do we get the insect meat from? And the maki. Oh, we must have picked that up from... Yeah, when we were... Yeah, picking up whatever name is. Cool. Let's offload all our stuff then that we do not need. You know what? Give me those packets of survival meals. Let's trade what we can. We'll give the rest as gifts. There we go. Good. Right, and we got 37 gold. Not bad. And we're butchering up this black dragon. Uh, we got 102 dragon scales. We've got a load of meat. Very nice. Cool. Okay, well, that can come back with us once we're done. And these guys are just going to meditate. You know what? Actually, Brent, just deconstruct these. Um, we might as well. Are they all adobe brick? No, that one is. Deconstruct that as well, and we can then get all the clay. And that might be quite nice, because this looks like quite nice building material. Right, low cargo, uh, the rest of the clay bricks, and then I think we're going to go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, we're all good. Launch. Go back home, please. Quest completed. We have successfully completed the quest. The Ancient Ulu's Helm. Thank goodness. We did it, guys. We did it. Well, now what? <laughs> we found Ulu's Helm. Uh, Brent, where is it? Bring it into here. Oh, you've, you're carrying the baby as well. Well, I suppose that's apt. Okay, so this is in. This counts as indoors. Drop Ulu's helm. Look at it in all its splendor. Magnificent. Right. Okay, go away. Take the baby somewhere else. You're going to just kill Tall Man because you're tormented by guilt. Uh, no, you're not. We're prisoners. Soda. Soda can't walk. Oh, because the arcane overload. You still got that. <laughs> God. Total arcane overload. Oh, okay. Izel. Try to arrest Lats. You you can obviously do it. You're not meant to have equipped that. She's no longer cleric. I know. Madam got magical attunement. Just upgrade. Right, Lats. Think about what you've done. How long until that's gone? Two days. Okay. And we've done it. Boom. What do we want next? None of that. Ruining is what we wanted. There we go. Okay, Wagga's looks quite cool actually for, <laughs> for the fact that she wasn't going to stay i guess i'll let her stay for a minute uh she's just going to go to the uh, intellectual settlement but she can stay for a minute uh that's uh release her please thank you very much and let's turn that back into colonists there we go okay excellent i want you to drop that spear you're not meant to be able to equip that as well there we go thank you um i want to slaughter to equip that really there we go and then we need to get you back on being cleric, annoyingly. That's explained her wish to serve a greater purpose. Well, you're going to now. And good. Can we do like a little advent of life? We haven't done these in ages. Uh, Explorer's Fair? Yeah, do an Explorer's Fair. Everyone having a lovely time. Cert Who's not in our ideology? Oh, is Elle still not in our ideology? I completely forgot about that. She's got away the whole time believing in the insect cult. Look at everyone getting along. This is so nice. This is really wholesome. Everyone's just chatting away about cleaning and there's vomit everywhere for some reason. Beautiful. What do we get? Oh, 10 Goodwill with Muspelheim. Oh, okay. Nice. Right, Lats for anything else. Convert Izel. She should then actually be converted fully into believing in our ideology. It's very much overdue. There we go. She's converted to the Travelers. Good. Let's have a look at Glover anyway. Glover, I can't believe it. <laughs> Technically, at uh, two and a half, and he's got 12 melee. <laughs> he's uh, better at melee than Brent. And Brent's 27 or 26 and a half. 
That's crazy. Azel? Azel's got better. Uh, no, actually, he's got better melee than Azel. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, you're going to be such a good colonist. Uh, it's just a shame about the magical sight. But still, if we can get you to be a mage, you're going to be unstoppable. So I guess we should probably just go explore a little bit, see what we can find, and uh, see if we can get anything for Azel to help her out with her nurse. If we can find something that's like beauty or something, that would be amazing. Get rid of that. We could then get something for her head, for her body, maybe like a fast runner or something to cancel that out. Yeah, that'd be amazing. And then I guess we'll get Slaughter to go. Yeah, Borders Pilot. Go. You Borders Pilot. And then we'll go explore the world. Slaughter then. Gonna go on a little epic adventure, my friend. You are gonna go this way. So go to there first. Sure, trade with them. And we're gonna explore that way and just see what we can find. We might have to... Well, I'm hoping we can buy some coal on the way somewhere, but for the time being, uh, you can just go explore. Uh, Wuggers, then. You're going to go to the church and get converted. Go on in. Off your pop. Is there anyone else who needs converting? No, just Wuggers. Cool, we're fine, then. And what is our colony wealth looking like? It must just be all our people. Like, whatever the case, it drops off, and then it just comes straight back. So I'm presuming it's whatever someone is either wearing... Or they're just worth. Let's see what everyone's worth. Yeah, they're all worth about 1,000, 2,000. So not much else. I reckon it's either the airship that's worth the money, although it doesn't actually have a price on it, or it's just the few bits we've got left. So we'll check once this is gone. We'll see if it does drop off again. If it does, then it's the airship that I guess is the most expensive thing. Not quite sure. But the colony wealth does worry me a bit. <laughs> like, drastically. Um, because really, in terms of wealth of buildings, it has gone up, but it's not that much. It has gone up, but it's still, like, okay. Wealth of creatures has gone up and down loads. Really, it's our dragons that are a mass chunk of our wealth. But then it's also items. So, yeah, we need to get rid of some of this colony wealth. Or we need to get into more defensive measures, really. I'm hoping after this we'll be able to find like the arcane defenses because that's what I want. Once we get that, we're sorted um, and we can defend ourselves easily. Right, Wuggers has arrived. Let's add pawn to Wuggers. Slaughter is here as well. And you have nothing of any use whatsoever. Okay, fine. Slaughter, you know what then? Uh, that's refuel. That's launch. There. You've got linen. I did need linen, didn't I? Yeah, let's buy some of that. And what else do you have? Flame tail. Uh, that's it. A glowstone lamp. I'm going to get that so I can reverse engineer it, because that might be interesting. Anything else? Vortex sculpture? No, 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 no. I think we're all right. Okay, we'll sell these, because we can. There we go. And we should be able to refuel again. Let's launch down to... We're getting to dangerous territory now, because we can't really go much further that way. And if we go up here, it's like one-way trip. So, hmm. Have they restocked? Restocked since last visit, true. Okay, right, fine. Let's launch over to here then. Trade with them. Lance has had a crisis of belief. No! You can't be, you're our cleric. Because she's tormented by guilt still. You've got 10 hours left on it, come on. Missy is tormented by guilt as well, 16 hours. But she only had the one so she can cope with that because she was counseled by Lats. That's the only reason. Still ruining our lives, like, like a month later. That's nuts. Can't believe how ridiculous that is, that him. That was crazy. And we didn't even really attack it properly. I'm worried about going after those wraiths because they could really screw up our party. We might need to give those a miss. What was the reward? Yeah, I'm not sure it was worth it. I'm tempted to go after these. These are cool. 11 days. They have 10 days. I think I might go after them. But I don't think I'm going to bother with the race. They just sound horrendous. Oh, it's from multiple Heim as well. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, they can, they can go screw up. <laughs> and these ones are from Fredo. Tried to capture and use the power of... Well, that's his own fault, to be fair. So really, it's just that one that I really care about. Because that's how Sambra and they're struggling to deal with them. Yeah, I think that's the only one that really I I would feel guilty about not doing. Right, here we go. So, anything else here? Pheromones, plus one, is is whoosh. I don't know what that is. Unliving resilience. No, acid resistance. 
No blood. Uh, interesting. Okay. Right, let's refuel again. Oh, we don't have much fuel left. How much? Uh, we can afford like another 90. Mm, I guess let's go to there. Serene orb. Oh, we got these. Abrasive sterile. Moth head. No. Subtle blue herb cyborg head. No. <laughs> Very happy. Larger. Um, Azel was unhappy, wasn't she? Sure, we could make her happy. I guess that's a start. Uh, bald. No hair. Mm. Web feet. Curled tail. Frenzied feeding. She's already got frenzied feeding. I could only give her like a moth head, but that might be a bit weird. Herb cyborg head. What the hell does that look like? Partial cybernetic looking head. I'm not sure about that. Um, we'll get her very happy. Anything else? No, I think we're all right. Right, slaughter then. You've got... 110. I reckon go to this one, this one, then back home. I think that should work. I think we're going to get Izel to be a bit more happy, because at the moment isn't she, like, depressed? Yeah, very unhappy. We can get her to be happy. That's a that's a step in the right direction. Uh, at least we can be happy with herself. I suppose that's the main thing. Oh, at least they're, they're happy together. Yeah, you like Izel now. But she ate... <laughs> she, she ate human flesh. I'll always be afraid of her. Yeah, I would be a little bit afraid of her as well, to be honest. She chowed down a kangaroo in one go. It was a bit concerning. Uh, near blindness, lethal UV, tail, hook, and feet. No. <laughs> These are all just not useful whatsoever. No, I I'm sorry. No, I, I don't want any of that. Thank you, but no. Okay, just just get back home. Okay, bit disappointing. I don't know what we're going to do with you, Azel. We're going to have to figure something out. I'm still under the uh, impression that Ascension is the way to go. If we can get her, someone to have an implant gene that gives her Ascension. I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do it, really. Okay, right. Slaughter's back. And we have a few things that should make people very happy. So we've got some linen, first of all, so we can make our little tent stalls. Uh, three. There you go, that works out. And then, uh, wherever it is, very happy. Uh, larger. I'm a bit worried about that. Is they'll consume the very happy mix. It'll make you larger. But I think that's the price we're going to have to pay. You, drop that. Come over here. And we're going to do reverse engineer on that. Must be researchable. It's just a glowstone lamp. Can, can we build it already? No idea. Uh, whatever the case, we've got a glowstone lamp, which I suppose can go somewhere. Right, and Azel can consume very happy, and hopefully that should negate the first gene she has. So, very happy and larger frame. Oh, and large, okay, large frame's been cancelled out. Okay, so it's pretty much the same, I think. I don't know, I think it might be marginally better, it's hard to tell. Uh, but she's very happy now, and that's the important thing. She's now very happy rather than very unhappy. That's good. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Len, Bolis, Lord, Lord, T, Chaos, Toolman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, Brian, Heretic, and Fabio. Cheers, guys. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. So, thank you so, 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 so much. Cheers, guys. See you next episode. Bye-bye.